Hey, welcome to another how-to video from eTech Parts. Today we're going to show you how to replace a cracked glass and digitizer on an iPhone 3G. Now this video was shot in a continuous shot and the phone was repaired in about five and a half minutes, but we did have to add some pauses so we could explain some of the more detailed parts. The tools we're using today are a mini flathead screwdriver, a double zero Phillips screwdriver, a black stick or spudger, a suction cup, and the complete assembly, which is the digitizer and frame and home button and your speaker, all pre-assembled. We also have a microfiber cloth handy, and we will be using safety glasses to make sure we don't get any glass shards. To open the phone, we need to remove the two bottom screws. And we use the double zero Phillips head screwdriver to do that. In this case, the glass was shattered pretty badly, and in order to make it easier to use the suction cup to open the phone, we're going to stick a two inch piece of packing tape over the glass so the suction cup can get a better seal. And then we're going to place the suction cup down towards the bottom of the phone by the home button. Hold the phone in one hand and pull with the suction cup on the other just until you get a little bit of a gap there. You don't want to yank it all the way off because you still have some cables connected down here. To remove the cables, we're going to use the black stick or the spudger. I like to use the pointy end. Uh, the number one connector popped off on its own and that'll sometimes happen, but if not, you just get under it with the spudger and gently pry it up. Same with the number two connector. Now the number three connector is a little bit different as it's just a lever, so you want to lift that lever up but it stays attached to the main board and once you lift the lever up that cable will slide right out. Now we're going to remove six screws holding the LCD bracket in. There's two here, one up on the top here and three on this side. You'll notice two of these are under a piece of black tape and what I do is just stab right through the tape with the screwdriver and remove the screw. The other option is you could peel the tape back remove the screw and then put the tape back in place. There doesn't seem to be any issue however with doing it this way. Other than you can see it takes me a little bit of time to find the screw here uh, but once you get it it just comes right out through the tape. After you get the five out on the sides, the sixth one is on the top or on the bottom depending which way you're looking at it. Now we're going to remove your good LCD from your broken digitizer assembly. Notice this little tab here that sticks out over the LCD. You want to start on the opposite edge of that. And there are two pieces of metal here. One is the frame and one is the LCD backing and you want to get your flathead right in between that and gently lift it up. Once you get one side up, then you can slide it forward away from that clip that's above it and pull your LCD out. The LCD is the only thing that you're going to reuse from your old assembly. The rest of this is just going to be set to the side. This is where the real time savings comes in in using this complete assembly because typically you would have to you know, scrape out the broken glass from your old frame, which can be dangerous and time consuming and, and dirty and then you'd have to glue in the new digitizer and glass assembly into your frame and then reinstall your, your LCD. But in this case, we get to skip all those steps and just go ahead and place your LCD right into place here. Again, being very gentle. And once you get one side in, you just press the other side down. And now we can reinstall the screws. All right, I do want to reiterate how fragile the LCD is. You just got to be really careful with this part and try to avoid twisting in any way. You just want to make sure that you work on one side at a time and be real gentle and give real even pressure both when you're installing it and when you're taking it out of your old cracked assembly. Well, we've got some time here while I'm reinstalling these screws, so I want to remind everyone that 
We do sell all of these parts on etechparts.com. We have all the tools individually, and we also have specially designed toolkits that are a little bit discounted that come with all the tools you should need to do the repair. And uh, we do have just the glass and digitizer as well. If you prefer to save a little bit of money and do some extra work, uh, we carry just about every part and stock just about every part for all the generations of iPhone, all the generations of iPod, and even tons of parts for Apple laptop computers. All right, now that we're done putting the screws in, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect these cables. Now the first one, which is connection number three, is a little bit tricky. You, it just can be a little bit difficult to slide this cable back into that connector. And uh, once you get it slid in there, you just push that lever back down towards the main board to lock it into place. Of course, we're always using the black stick that's non-conductive to do that. Sorry, you can't see it real well, but once you lock that connector in place, push down on that number two connector, push down on the number one connector and make sure these things are all connected real solid and then just go ahead and place the whole assembly back down into the phone. The last step before testing is to reinstall the bottom two screws. Now we'll power it on and show you that it's working. Again, this phone was repaired in about five and a half minutes, and we just added a few pauses here to explain things a little bit further. While we're waiting for this thing to power up, let me just thank you for watching another eTech Parts how-to video. Hopefully now you feel confident in doing this repair at home using the complete iPhone 3G digitizer and glass assembly. Please check us out at eTechParts.com for all your iPod, iPhone, and MacBook parts needs. All right, here it is, back in working order, looking like new again. Thanks a lot for watching.